Coming up in today's show, we have a story on the 8th grade curriculum fair, Colin Drews' signing, and the Battle of the Bands. Hey Vikes, this is Allie and Sydney, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The eighth graders visited last week. Let's go see what they're looking forward to in high school. The eighth grade curriculum fair is a special day where all of the eighth graders come to the high school and tour it. Uh, the curriculum fair is an event that we have every year uh, in January, and the eighth graders come up and visit the uh, high school uh, to hear about all of the different elective areas that we have. They sit through different presentations that informs them about all the different things the high school has to offer. Uh, jewelry making is with me, it's very meticulous, very hands on. I cut up with some 8th graders to ask them what they're looking forward to most in high school. Um, I'm looking forward to like having different electives open and being able to kind of take whatever you want. Sports, playing soccer and basketball and cross country. Juniors and seniors also walked around the high school with the 8th graders, acting as tour guides. Most of the 8th graders said that they're really looking forward to all the new electives. Um, I'm really excited for like just the different classrooms and all the different electives that we can take. The curriculum fair is a great way to show all the 8th graders what the high school has to offer. It sounds like the 8th graders like their new electives. Now for your daily announcements. The Battle of the Bands is next week. Here's Autumn with more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Crummy today to tell us some more information on the ticket sales for Battle of the Bands and limited t-shirts. All right, so Battle of the Bands is coming up next Thursday, February 20th. Um, doors are at 6 o'clock, the show's at 6.30. Um, we have a great lineup of bands that are going to play, and um, we start ticket sales um, this, this Wednesday, actually, um, during all lunches, and we'll sell pre-sale tickets Wednesday, and then Monday, Tuesday, excuse me, when, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, uh, so the day of the show, you can still get them pre-sale. They're $3 before the show, $5 if you buy them at the door. Okay, thank you. Can you tell us some more information about the limited t-shirts that you guys have? Oh, yeah, so we got a lot of cool stuff going on. So if you buy your tickets ahead of time, we're doing some t-shirt ticket combos. First of all, we have Thirst Project t-shirts, and if you buy Thirst Project t-shirt and two tickets, you can get that for a con for $15. Um, and then we'll throw in a couple of band stickers along with that. We got some Untamed Mustangs. Untamed Mustang stickers. We got some Untamed Mustang stickers that we'll throw in, as well as um, we got some other band stickers, just stuff that we have from SH Bell. Um, so that's for a $15 combo. We also have <laughs> limited edition, definitely Untamed Mustang. Um, t-shirts handcrafted by Mr. Bach and myself. These are selling for $10 and um, all the proceeds from this goes to the Thirst Project. That's what the whole Battle of the Bands um, is helping support. Thank you, Mr. Cromie. Bikes, make sure you get your t-shirts and your tickets. If you're interested in going, buy your tickets tomorrow at lunch. Today is the last day to turn in any outside date forms for Snowball. Applications are now being accepted for our internship program. Juniors, be sure to apply by February 28th if you're interested. Auxiliary dance team tryouts will be on April 4th. Talk to Ms. Hurt if you want to know more. One of our track athletes signed a letter of intent. We will find out more after this short commercial break. It's snowball week. Wednesday is jock versus nerd. Friday's game theme is Safari. Have a great snowball. Soldier Boy Tell. Soldier Boy Tell. 
Snowball. Stop. <laughs> Got a teddy bear? Want to viciously throw the bear like the animal it is? Hot diggity dog, the animal teddy bear toss is set for next Friday, February 14th, during the halftime show. All of the proceeds will be donated to our young lives. One of our track athletes signed to the University of St. Mary's. First, I would like to thank you all for coming out today and really celebrating this really special moment with me. It really means a lot. Conlon Drews is signing to the University of St. Mary's to run and throw for their track program. I wanted to go to St. Mary's because they really made me feel like a family. Um, and I felt really welcomed there and with their track program developing I felt like I could be a really good impact to kind of get their throwing program started so that's why I really enjoyed it. Conlon's family is excited for her to further her track career. It's a good school for her, the competition's good, from what I hear the campus is pretty. Conlon is bound to break records here at Seaman and at St. Mary's. Well, for this year specifically, um, there's no reason that, that the school record of 144 feet 5 inches she can't break that um, and I think for both her and myself we know that a top three finish at the state meet anything less than that probably would be a little bit of a disappointment so so for now it's it's, it's big things and if you look at uh, St. Mary's uh, records and things like that she's she's gonna break their school record with her first throw easy and so I think I think so she can improve their program significantly there thank you all for coming out today and for supporting me through all of this I really appreciate it Conlon plans on throwing at St. Mary's. For the Spirit Week's theme, tomorrow's Jog vs. Nerd, Friday's game theme is Safari, tonight's game is Red Out. Friday is the annual teddy bear toss during halftime of the boys' varsity basketball game. Tonight's game is Red Out. All SHS students will receive a free t-shirt. Shirts will be given out at the beginning of the game. Brayden Garls has been selected as the fan of the week. Congrats, Brayden. Snow tomorrow. Now we'll go over to Josh to see if he's going to snow tomorrow. Good afternoon to you. That's right, Allie. We do have snow on the way for tomorrow, and here's a look. It's going to be a rain-snow mix because temperatures are actually going to be above freezing tomorrow. More on that in just a second. But then we turn very cold on Thursday, and we're talking extremely cold, possibly the coldest we've been all season, before a nice warm-up arrives just in time for the weekend. Of course, we have a long weekend coming up. So enjoy it while the warmer weather lasts. But here we go. This is tomorrow at midnight. So here we go. Some showers developing across South Central Kansas. Those will develop and move in during the morning tomorrow. So by 7 o'clock as you're leaving the house, get ready to have some light rain and snow moving in. Then by noon, light snow continuing, especially towards Kansas City, but also here in Topeka as well and this tapers off by around the time school is tomorrow. So with those marginal temperatures, we're thinking this is going to be a low to medium impact event with a trace to two inches of, of accumulation likely. It's going to be pretty slushy on the roads, not expecting major travel impacts, but just use extra caution as you're out and about tomorrow, especially on your way to school and on your way home. Then the Arctic black settles in Thursday. We're talking wind chills below zero during the morning and not much better by the afternoon. Oh my goodness, some active weather in the next few days. The good news is that sunshine returns on Thursday and then the weekend. Check that out by Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the 50s and maybe approaching 60 by next Monday. Now, Allie and Sydney, back to you. Thanks, Josh. And tomorrow's show will have a story on Snowball. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a good day.